Hi guys, my name is Alana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here on Cosmic Wanderer, I make videos all about fashion, specifically alternative and 90s fashion, but I also kind of dabble in a few other genres of clothing. But I'm going to be filming a haul video because I recently, over the past few months, have bought quite a few new things. And some of the stuff it's bought brand new. Some of it was thrifted and some I bought um, in person, but I thought that I'd film this video for you all and yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. These are not all the items that I've thrifted or found recently just because I actually have some things that are being altered at the moment because hashtag short girl problems. Um, but yeah, when those clothes get back, I will either add it in the end of this video um, on a different day or... I will just film a part two to this haul, just depending on how long it takes. Some smaller things and then move on to the larger items and pieces of clothing. So I actually went to Lifeline the other day, which is kind of like a um, secondhand store, like a thrift store. And it was near where I have my counseling appointment. And I was just looking at it across the road and I was like, I might pop in there because I've actually never been in that specific one before. It was a very small shop, but I actually walked in and straight away I found some really cool things. So I found this little doll that is like a little china doll, a um, little porcelain doll, and it came in this little cute box. Um, I think this is its original packaging. And I just thought this was so cute. This was $3 and I just loved it. And I have a lot of room decor that I have collected that is vintage that's either from um like my parents or grandparents as presents or just like little things like this that I always find um I don't really buy any sort of room decoration stuff brand new I always find stuff secondhand just because I really like to have an eclectic kind of taste um in what I can find and this here was actually a gift that I got I had my birthday in at the end of April and my grandma actually got me this really cute little plant. It's fake, um, but it says love grow. Oh, love grows here. Sorry. And yeah, it's really cute. And it has some little like pebbles. And I haven't got anywhere to put a lot of these things yet because I need to assemble my bedside table because I bought a new one. But yeah, I really like this and it was a gift. So that was really nice. Also that I got for my birthday was this perfume from my grandparents as well. And this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. I have been wanting this perfume. I'm not even joking when I tell you. I'm, I'm 22 now and I've been wanting this perfume since I was a teenager. When this perfume first was released, I wanted it way back then. And I just never bought it for myself. Um, and yeah, like I just... Always, like, every year I'd say, like, I wanted it, and then i just never tell anyone. Like, I always forgot. So, I ended up getting that perfume, and it's really nice, and it smells amazing. It's, like, my favorite perfume. Uh, then, the next thing that I actually got recently was a couple of handmade um, pieces of jewelry. So, I got these earrings. I actually got a couple pair of earrings recently. So, I got these really pretty blue earrings. Um... And I'll show you the person's name because they're on Etsy and you have to check out their store because they make really amazing jewellery. Um, so this is actually what it came on. So this is, I got two pairs by the same person. So it's called Feathers and Stone Art and um, her name is Anna Lee Turner. And you can look her up on Etsy. She's Australian. She has a shop and she makes all of these handmade jewelry like pieces. She has other things other than earrings. But yeah, um, this is a little card it came on and I kept these cards just to keep the earrings. And this has all her information on the back and I will link it down below. But yeah, I got these blue earrings that has a coin and some just like little beads. And because blue is kind of like the theme of my ear, so... I got it matching my other earrings that I've got in um and then I also got this sword I've got two of them a sword little sword earrings I have big ones that I often wear and I always get compliments on them for some reason like whenever I wear those earrings so 
I decided to get like a little mini pair just to add to like my ear when I'm wearing like these type of earrings. Um, I wear these other ones pretty regularly, but I just changed the first, my first hole, but the rest of them I kind of keep as it is. Um, although sometimes I kind of change it, but yeah. And then this was the second pair that I got, which are these cute little crane. Again, they're kind of a blue green just because I really like that color. Moving on to makeup, I got these MAC lipsticks recently and I never worn a MAC before, but I decided just to spend the money and get a couple of new lipsticks because I have been wearing the same color lipstick since I was 17. The one I'm wearing now is my favorite shade and it's called Lollies and Sig. Um, and this one is my favorite out of all the ones I bought. Sorry, it just looks like this. And it's kind of like this purpley brown color. And I really like it. And it goes with a lot of my everyday outfits. So I always wear this lipstick. Um, and then this one is called Decaf. And I kind of got shades that are kind of similar to each other. But this one is um, a lot more red. So it's really like kind of like fire engine truck red. So I really like this one. This one is a lot darker than anything kind of I've had because I don't really normally wear red ever. Like I don't really wear red lipstick. So this is like a nice kind of in-between color um, just for when like you want something a bit different. And then I also got this one, which is called Paramount, the shade. And um, I didn't buy the lip liners, but this one is quite similar to the one I just showed you, but it's kind of like a lighter color. And this one does um, have more of the kind of like orangey hue to it. Whereas the other one's got a bit more of a purple undertone. Um, and then this one here, I haven't worn this one yet. And this one is called Caviar. And it's actually black, like completely black, which I've never worn before. So I am going to wear this. Um, I was gonna wear it in this video, but I have people coming over later and I thought maybe I shouldn't just be like, bam, black lipstick. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I got this one. I haven't tried it yet. I was a bit wary of liquid lipsticks because I haven't really liked them in the past, but I thought I would try it. And yeah, this one just completely black. So I'm gonna be trying that one out and I'll probably show you in a video, so... Stay tuned for that. Right, then I also bought some things from Lifeline while when I got this doll. So I found this really cute skirt. Um, and it's kind of like corduroy material and it is a mustard color. It's A-line, which I really like A-line um, for me personally. And the only thing is that the zip doesn't work. But it doesn't matter because it has a button and I can pull it straight on. It's quite stretchy. So it doesn't really matter, um, but the zip is faulty on it, which I didn't realize because I didn't try this on. I just bought it because I thought that it was um, like a size 8 and I thought that would fit me. So yeah, but it, it's also quite flexible. So if you, you know, um, need that extra bit of space in it, it stretches, which I really like. But yeah, as you can tell, probably from the background, mustard um, is one of my favorite colors. This other little mustard um top which is basically brand new and it has little black hearts on it and it's kind of like a mustard color again which i really like and um yeah i like this it's like a kind of like a sweater thing like a long sleeve but it's really light which i like because where i live it doesn't really get cold so i didn't want something that's going to be really thick and hot um, so this is going to be really good just for when it cools down a little bit. And then I also found this other shirt. I found all of this like the minute I walked in too. It was like, it was really amazing. Um, I had been eyeing off almost the exact same shirt at TK Maxx, which was like double the price or maybe even triple the price. I got this top for like $5 and it was brand new. Like it's completely brand new and it's dinky brand. Um, and it's a size medium and oh my gosh, this is like so, so cute. It's a v-neck, which I love because I don't own any v-neck tops. So I thought this was super cute. It is so light and comfortable and it's like this really beautiful, like soft, good quality, like stretchy material. Um, the sleeves like this, cause I've actually worn it a few times. Um, 
Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cute. This color green is just like forest kind of color and it's just, oh my gosh, I love it. And it's so comfortable. It's like this really soft material, which just feels so cozy. Um, and then I've got these few things online from a store called Dangerfield and Princess Highway, which if you live in Australia, you might have heard of them. Um, I think it originated from Melbourne. So they have stores in like down south. I don't know if Brisbane has any, um, but I really want them to get a store where I live. But I mean, the chances of that happening is very, very small. I always look online and I get stuff on sale. So a lot of my wardrobe is actually from Dangerfield Princess Highway. Um, this is a pair of pants from Princess Highway. And the reason why I love this brand, oh my gosh, if they sponsored me, like, I would literally be jumping for joy because I love this brand so much because it is so, like, versatile. Like, they have so many different, like, collections coming out and pieces of clothing. And the clothing is, like, such good material. Like, I've never seen clothing made to this, like, good of standard. Um, and so, yeah, I got these pants. They are high-waisted and they are green and then they have these foxes on them, which I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh. They are very kind of like a straight leg. They're a little bit baggy um, and they got elastic, which is amazing. And they tie at the front so they have a material kind of belt. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not going to try any of these things on because the video is going to be like way too long. But I will be making a lookbook with a lot of these clothing pieces in it. So don't worry, you'll get to see them on. But yeah, I got this pair of pants from there. And they're really cool. Like they're made out of cotton. So they're great for summertime. You don't get really sweaty. I got all of this stuff on special, I think. Um, the other pieces of clothing I got from them are getting altered right now. Because these pants were a good length um, on me. But everything else was, unfortunately too long just because I am really short um so yeah I think I'm five foot two maybe so that is why everything is too long so basically whenever I buy pants nine times out of ten they're gonna be long also from Princess Highway I got this top which goes with it and it's a bit crushed but because I have worn this outfit before but yeah this top goes with it and it has the puff sleeves which has been in for quite a while um, but yeah, I got this little top. It's like a midriff. It's really comfortable. Again, it's elastic, which I'm really loving elastic right now because, um, it doesn't really matter like what size you are. You can go up a size, down a size. It doesn't really matter. I've worn the outfit one time just to church and I thought it was really cute. Um, then the next thing I got also from, um, Princess Highway was this pair of corduroy jeans and I'd been eyeing these off for seriously so long um I love corduroy and I've been wanting a pair for so long and then I saw this color and I was like yes and they had this on sale so I got this pair of green corduroy jeans and they are the perfect length which is amazing because like I said I'm like five foot two but amazing length on me they are just a straight leg it's kind of they're not really a skinny jean, like, they're, they're kind of form-fitted, but they're not, like, super tight. Um, but, yes, they are really, really comfortable. Again, they're really versatile, and they're really stretchy. And I just really like this material, um, because corduroy just lasts for years. Then, next, I got this Pierce the Veil beanie, which um, I got from the Pierce the Veil online store. And, yeah, I got this one. Because, I mean, Pierce the Veil is like one of my favourite bands. So I have a hoodie that I got recently that actually matches the beanie, kind of. Um, it's not Pierce the Veil, but it is Avril Lavigne. The hoodie is really oversized, which I like. Um, and it has her like new Love Sucks like album cover kind of on it. And it has Avril Lavigne and then on the sides it has um, Love Sucks. And... Also, on the hood it has something, so it's just really cool. It's like a really cool graphic. 
And then this is like the front. Um, so yeah, they're the pockets. And this is so comfortable and cozy. I love wearing this. It's actually really thick material. I was surprised. I got this from the DFO, which is like the outlet store. And yeah, the, this was actually quite an expensive designer brand, but I got this for $25. This is a really good quality like thick flannel top and it's just like again that like, mustard kind of color so i got this and yeah it is oversized again and it's actually a men's shirt but i mean i always buy actually funny thing is that i always buy men cl men's clothing like i always buy hats beanies socks um shirts you know a lot of things in my wardrobe is actually men's stuff and you wouldn't probably even know but yeah what this from the men's section men's section always has good clothes okay um so yeah I got that and then this one I got recently just from this shop called Supre if you live in Australia they have normally really bad clothing but I was in there the other day just to have a quick browse because sometimes they have good things and I got this um sweatshirt which I have worn so many times um that's why it looks like this but yeah it is this baby blue color and I love this color and I've never had a sweatshirt like this and yeah it looks really good with like a pair of baggy um denim jeans and like Doc Martens so yeah I got this and I love it again because it has the v-neck I've been really into v-necks lately so yeah I got that next I got these pair of pants just from JJ's um my other pair I threw away because the dye had faded out of them and instead of re-dyeing them I was too lazy and they were kind of old because I've had the jeans for years. I just threw them away and they were all high-waisted. These ones are not high-waisted but they're just a general pair of like rich skinny jeans. I mean what can you say? They're really good fitting. I always buy jeans from JJ's just because I find they're a good length. I don't have to adjust them and they I don't know. They just seem to last me for a really long time. I got these pair of pants from City Beach. I got these online the other day and they were on special down to like $25. They're not blue, but they're not. They're actually black and gray. They're really long, kind of like baggy, um, flowy pants. And then they got these zips at the front. They're elastic. And then on the back, it kind of has this little pocket again, really kind of bootleg kind of baggy pair of pants um so yeah they're kind of like the ones I'm wearing now except they're not made out of cotton they're made out of more of like a polyester so they're really flowy and they don't crease at all got this skirt this is probably about twenty dollars um again it's like elastic it is an a-line fit just from Kmart I got this dress that was on sale the other day when I was with my friend this was down to ten dollars I think and I got this little dress from Cotton On and I'd been eyeing this off for so long but it was like full price and I wasn't going to pay full price for it so I got this on sale it's just like a halter neck top but you tie and then it's low back and it ties at the back which is really cute and it has it's quite short which I like and then it has just like a stretchy material and yeah it's very flattering um, it looked really good with the bralette, but I actually don't own one, so I need to buy one to go with it, but, um, I just got clothes everywhere. I asked my mom to get me this, um, these overalls, but they turned out to be really crappy because they were online, and it was from a store I'd never bought from before. They're just a pair of, like, overalls, it's a skirt, though, it has pockets, kind of like this green collar. They were not what I was expecting, so, I don't know, they're kind of badly made. Then I got this jacket from Cotton On as well, but I got this online because it was down to $30 because I'd been waiting for them to go on sale because I needed a denim jacket. Um, so I just got this like 90s kind of oversized denim jacket. Um, this is really good for where I live because it doesn't really get that cold. So you can just throw this on kind of, you know, baggy denim jacket. I am always cold. So I got this green, I'm going to have to stand up because this is quite big. I got this green cardigan. Oh my gosh, another lipstick. I got this green cardigan and it's just like this 
furry, thick kind of wool material, but it's not scratchy. It's just really soft and it is really warm, which is why I like it because I'm always cold. Um, so yeah, I always wear this at church because it's like freezing. Um, yeah, and it has pockets. It's actually, no, it doesn't have pockets. So my other one has pockets, but yeah, it's just like really oversized and cozy. I really like it. This is very, very different. I never buy anything like this, but I decided to get something that was kind of girly and pretty, I suppose. Um, so I got this dress from a boutique in the city. When I went with my sister, we were going to the city to look at some art shows and stuff, and I ended up getting this. And um, yeah, it's just like this dress with puff sleeves. It's a bit big on me, but they didn't have any small sizes. So, but it looks fine. It's not like overly big. Um, and then at the end, it has like this pretty little hem. This is like really in right now. Like everyone seems to be wearing this type of stuff and I don't follow trends. Kind of just wear what I like, but I did get this because I thought I should have some, not that I should, but like, I just felt like I wanted at least one dress that wasn't kind of what I own. Like I wanted something a bit different. And then I just found this other lipstick. This one, I knew I was missing one. This one is called Antique Velvet. This is also MAC. This is like what I call like vampire lipstick. Like I love this shade. The last thing, when I was away also in Cairns, I went to the DFO to the Converse store and I got a pair of Converse. My other ones that I got online were really small and I'm going to be selling them. They're a size 5 Australian um, woman's shoe so if you're interested in buying them um, send me a message or drop it down below um, I'm gonna put them on my Instagram because they're brand new I wore them maybe twice but they're just way too small um, they're a very small size 5 and I normally wear size 6 when it comes to enclosed shoes so if you have like kids or something they want to wear them because my foot is small um, but yeah I got this pair of Converse they're like the leather ones um and yeah I just got like a pair of Converse because I have so many pairs of Doc Martens but I didn't have a pair of Converse so I decided to get myself a pair. That is all for this haul. I'm going to be making a part two with some other things that I purchased once they get adjusted and a few more house decor things um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see more hauls let me know um because I kind of wait until I've accumulated a few things and then I'll do a video um so yeah I'm gonna be filming a video with me getting another piercing soon with my friend so I'm gonna be filming that and um I've got a whole bunch of video ideas but if you want anything in particular then comment it thank you for watching the video hope you're all well my instagram socials everything tiktoks down below if you want to follow me on my other youtube channel it's also linked on my link tree I also have a small business called Care Boxes by Alana. Go check that out and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.